أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يحده الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حقا تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون صدق الله العظيم I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the rejected in the name of Allah who is most gracious, most merciful Alhamdulillah once again we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sparing our lives and giving us the health and guidance of coming out and offering our Jummah Salah. Alhamdulillah, all praise is for Allah. He cherishes those who obey Him and fear Him, and degrades and humiliates those who defy His orders and disobey Him. I praise Him and thank Him for both His favors and afflictions. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship but Allah alone. Having no partners, I also bear witness that Muhammad upon whom be peace is his servant and messenger. Verily, he is the best of the prophets and the most noble of those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May the peace and blessings of Almighty Allah be upon him and upon everyone who fears Allah righteously. Alhamdulillah, my dear brothers and sisters, for today's topic I have chosen the advantages of taqwa. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, O oh, 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 servants of Allah, fear Allah and have taqwa as you were created for it. All the favors and bounties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted you and done for you are to help you achieve taqwa. Taqwa is to train yourselves to stay away from everything that may lead you to Allah's wrath and hence his torment. This is to achieve by, by abiding by Allah's commandment and staying away from his prohibitions. You must prepare yourselves to only do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes you to do. It was reported that Ali bin Abi Tal Talib Allah and said, Taqwa is to fear Allah, the Magnificent, to abide by His revelations, to be content with the little of provision, and to be ready for departure from this life, and that is death. O Muslims, we really need Taqwa more than we need water and air. Even if all what it brings for us is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it, it will certainly be sufficient. He also has gained the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and indeed gained the love of people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in Al-Quran, A'udhu billahi mina shaitanir rajeem Inna al-lazina amanu wa amilu salihati Sayyajir alahumur rahmanu undah Verily, 
those who believe in the oneness of Allah and his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and work deeds of righteousness, the most gracious, Allah will bestow love for them in the hearts of the believers. Chapter 19, Ayah 96. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in Al-Quran, Inna Allah yuhimbul muttaqeen. Verily, Allah loves al-muttaqoon, those who have taqwa. Chapter 9, Ayah 7. My dear brothers and sisters, there is a hadith that states, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves someone, he will set acceptance for him on earth. So fear Allah, O people, and be aware that Allah and his messenger have recommended that all the people fear him. A Muslim must cling to his Lord's advice and recommendation. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, وَلَقَدْ وَسَّيْنَا الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَإِيَّاكُمْ أَنِ اتَّقُوا اللَّهِ And verily, we have recommended to the people of the scripture before you and to you, O Muslims, that you all fear Allah. Chapter 4, Ayah 131. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ittaqillaha By fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is, fear Allah wherever you are. And by fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, man is protected from troubles. Impediments are removed from his way, and doubts are no longer lingering in his heart. My dear brothers and sisters, by taqwa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turns man's grief and hardship into happiness and comfort and will help him find a way out of his misery and destitution. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will further provide for him from sources that he could never have considered or imagined. And in this regard, Almighty Allah states in Al-Quran, وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَل لَّهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَقْتَصِدُ And whosoever fears Allah and keep his duty to him he will make a way for him to get out of every difficulty and he will provide from him from sources he never could imagine Chapter 65, Ayah 2 and 3. And again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَ اللَّهُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ And whosoever fears Allah and keep his duty to him, he will make his matter easy for him. Again, chapter 65, Ayah 4. My dear brothers and sisters, Fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, man matures individually and intellectually and becomes more brilliant. He gains the ability to distinguish between truth and falsehood, both the beneficial matters and the harmful ones. By fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, man's sins and wrongdoings are expiated and hence forgiven. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu in tattakullaha yaj'al lakum furqanan wa yukaffir ankum sayyatikum wa yagfir lakum. O you who believe, if you obey and fear Allah, he will grant you furqan. That is a criterion to judge between right and wrong. Or makraj. That is a way for you to get out from every difficulty and will expiate for you your sins and forgive you. Chapter 8, Ayah 29. 
And again Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in the Holy Quran. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu attaqullaha wa aminu bi rasulihi yu'tikum yu'tikum kiflayni min rahmati wa yahya wa yaj'al lakum nuran tamshuna bih wa yaghfir lakum o you who believe fear Allah and believe in his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he will give you a double portion of his mercy and he will give you a light by which you shall walk straight and he will forgive you chapter 57 ayah 28 brothers and sisters by fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala man shall be secure and protected while other people are frightened he will be happy while all others are sad and optimistic while all others are pessimistic again Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in the holy Quran Allah inna awliya Allah la qawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun alladhina amanu wa kanu yattaqun no doubt verily the awliya of Allah that is those who believe in the oneness of Allah and fear Allah much abstain from all kinds of sins and evil deeds which he has forbidden and love Allah much perform all kinds of good deeds which he has combined no fear shall come upon them nor shall they grieve those who believe in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you and used to fear Allah much by abstaining from evil deeds and sins and by doing righteous deeds for them are glad tidings in the life of the present world and in the life hereafter chapter 10 ayah 62 to 64 by fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala man becomes nearer to his Lord thereupon he gains happiness and felicity in this life and the hereafter. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in the Holy Quran, Ya ayyuhalladzina amanu attaqullaha wabtagu ilayhi alwasilata wajahidu fi sabili fi sabilihi la'allakum tuflihun O you who believe, do your duty to Allah and fear Him. O you who believe, do your duty to Allah and fear Him, and seek the means of approach to Him, and strive hard in His cause as much as you can, so that you may be successful. So that you may be successful. Chapter 5, Ayah 35. By fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Man shall have peace of mind, and his children, especially the weak ones, will be looked after and taken care of. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again states in the Holy Quran, and let those execute, executors and guidance and guardians have the same fear in their minds as they would have of their own. If they had left weak offspring behind, so let them fear Allah and speak right words. Chapter 4. Ayah 9. O servants of Allah, you are definitely departing this life. The travelers take provision to sustain their journey. Your journey to the hereafter needs only one kind of provision, 
and that is the fear from Allah, taqwa. It is the provision that guarantees for you eternal happiness, tranquility, and, joyful, and a joyful life in the garden of paradise, in the garden of bliss, that is wide as the heavens and the earth together. These gardens were made for those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For this and for other reasons, man knows that he cannot succeed without fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taqwa is his way out of the troubles in this, in this life and the hereafter, particularly when he, when he is to pass over the fire at one of the stages of the day of judgment. Only those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can pass that stage intact. With taqwa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with you, helping you, and Allah only honors you if you have taqwa. Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Holy Quran, Inna akramakum indallahi atuqakum Verily, the most honorable of you in the sight of Allah is that believer who has taqwa. And that is, he is, the one, he is one of the mutaqud, the pious. Chapter 49, Ayah 13. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there is no preference of an Arab over a non-Arab, except by virtue of taqwa. Some of the early people said, if a man gets out of the, of the humiliation of wrongdoing to the honor of taqwa, Allah Ta'ala will make him rich without wealth, strong and dignified without a tribe, and entertained without company. My dear brothers and sisters, fear Allah, O servants of Allah. Fearing Allah is a cure for all your illness. Be certain to always remain in a state of taqwa, for no one will be happy except those who keep themselves in that state. All others shall be sad and miserable. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taqwa is what you equip yourselves with to encounter your enemy and thereby defeat him. Fear Allah with yourselves, your families, and wealth. Fear Allah upon dealing with children, your arham, your relatives, your dependents, and upon fulfilling trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has entrusted you with. In other words, you should keep taqwa before your eyes in every aspect of your lives. My dear brothers and sisters, taqwa is very important in our lives. There are so many more ayah in the Quran, in this holy Quran, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is warning us is giving us lessons. Fear Allah. Ittaqillah. Fear Allah wherever you are. And He will guide you and protect you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with His book and benefit us with its ayah and wisdom. By this, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all of our wrongdoings. Seek his forgiveness as he is the all forgiving, most merciful. Barakallahu lana wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim wa nafana wa iyaakum bi ayati zikri al-Hakim innahu ta'ala jawarun karimun maliku. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, he nab mother who won a star in a who won a star with fear who won a woman who be won a tobacco wale when I was a bill him in Shururian for Sina 
ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي الله ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول إن الله وملائكاته إن الله وملائكاته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد بأعداد من صلى وصام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد بأعداد من قاد وقام وصل على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى كل ملائكة المقربين وعلى إباد الله الصالحين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين إباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإيسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يا إذوكم لعلكم تذكرون ولذكر الله تعالى أولى وأولى وأأز وأجل وأتم وأحم وأكبر حقيم السلام Thank <laughs> you.